stuff that's nearby, but we're giving two city centers, so I'll probably, I'll put one here, and then I, we don't want to put it within range, so let's have another city center down by the beach, how about that? Then, we'll put at our houses, so let's have uh, a house near the city center, let's have a house near the city center, and where do we want to put a mansion?
as much as me, but I'm sure you do. And every house is a different size, a different color, a different, you know, layout. I just love it. Look at this thing. Look at this thing up there. There's like a little pied de pierre And I personally love this row of houses on the water. They're very small, simple little one-story houses, but they're just all in this beautiful rainbow. Walk through these double arches into a busier section where I think it's got bigger houses, maybe businesses. And this is kind of like a hotel, I think, or a church. I'm not really sure, but really interesting roof things happening here. Little secret balconies. There's even, look, there's binoculars so you can look out over there at the ocean. Um, a lighthouse in the middle of town doesn't make it a lot of sense. And this colorful little streamer papers and birds resting. Um, a very interesting thing happening here. And over here we have a wall garden, which is really, really lovely to look at. I really love this. Now, how does this game work? If you've never seen me play the game, I'm gonna go over here. Maybe on that bridge there's a 
understand why I say it's almost not a game, right? It's almost not a game. It's so much more. And the funny thing about this is, is that it's something where it's like, I don't know if I'm interested in this. I guarantee if I sit you down this, you're, you're gonna spend 40 minutes, an hour, creating your own little world like this. Time is gonna fly. I did that to my partner. I was like, try this game. I just gotta try Downscaper. He's like, I don't really think I'm... I don't think it's for me. And, um, I said, please, just try it. I just want you to spend, uh, 20, 10, 10 minutes. Not even 20. 10 minutes playing this game. And he spent like an hour and a half. And I said, you know, it's been like an hour and a half, right? No, he had no idea. Uh, time just flies when you're downscaping. So it's truly a really, really fun experience. And you can take a screenshot. You can save your world. So, for example, I, I liked it the way I have it. Um, even though there's no, like, wrong... Something wrong with anything, right? Like, there's no wrong answers, like I'm saying. But this is the way that my world is, and I have it saved. Messing around. All this music. That's really nice. Uh, you can even export it as an OBJ, which, uh, if you don't know what an OBJ file is, it's, well, OBJ, I guess, like, stands for object. I used to work with them a lot uh, when I learned 3D art. Um, so, this is just a really special magical game, as you can tell. And, yeah, the possibilities are endless. If you've ever wanted to feel like Bob Ross in that there's no wrong answers and um, only happy accidents, no mistakes, like this is it. You don't need paint and you don't need pencils and all that. You can just use your mouse or maybe you're playing it like on the Steam Deck. I don't know, you could use your finger even. And just have fun. You're crazy. And again, um, I'll link to my other Downskeeper video because I'll show you how to do some of the little secrets that you just things you have to figure out too. To get this stuff, like to do a garden, it has to be like completely enclosed. So you'll see there's like no breakable lines, even this technically doesn't count as a, a break. It looks like it, but yeah, it has to be completely enclosed. And you get a garden, and then you can do little stuff in the garden walls and all that. Uh, really cool. That door, it's unique. Um, the lighthouse is a special one. That top, you have to do, I think, alternating colors or alternating red and white since that's like the classic lighthouse color. And you get a lighthouse. Stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed Downscaper. It is really, really inexpensive too. So it's one of those that a lot of you can enjoy. is add three more fields attached to the 
so many quests to open at once, it's kind of stressful. Um, there's a little town near the, the field, which makes sense. Again, we'll leave that open, and oh dear, this is tough. I've probably messed up. Uh, I can always do that, undo, and maybe I'll put it somewhere else. Quite bright. 
houses. Yeah, so this is a really lovely, relaxing experience for everybody. Um, yeah, I think Dorf Romantic is for everyone. And Dorf Romantic has been so successful that it's spawned a style that I call Dorf Romantic esque. <laughs>
to go. 
least some of these games are so inexpensive. 